Welcome back to the session on LaTeX. In this session, we will recapitulate what we learnt in this topic and we will briefly look at the commands of table and images. In this session, we created a basic table in LaTeX using the tabular environment. We aligned the content of the table using L, C, R that is left, center and right. Using the P command, we adjusted the width of the column. In this session, we concentrated on adding borders to the table. Using the pipe operators, we can create a vertical line to separate the columns. H line is used to create horizontal lines to separate the rows. C line command takes two numbers as arguments and adds a horizontal line from the first number till the second number. To style the borders, that is create dotted or dashed lines, we used ARYDSHLN package and the commands are H dash line and C dash line. This session was pretty straightforward in which we merged the columns and rows of a table using multi row and multi column commands. Array stretch command was used to increase the vertical spacing in the tables. The session ended with an exercise to include some large tables. In this session, we address the problem of large tables using the long table environment and package. The end head command repeats the header rows on every page. In this session, we used H, B and T to position the table on the page using the table environment. We also added captions and generated a list of tables for easy reference. Finally, we included an image using include graphics command and adjusted its size by mentioning height or width in box brackets. Graphic X package is used for this purpose. This session seemed a bit more interesting as we worked with image properties like scaling, cropping and rotating. We mentioned these in box brackets. For example, to scale an image, we write scale equal to and the number which denotes a scaling factor. To rotate an image by 180 degrees, we write angle equal to 180 in box brackets. Cropping involves writing two arguments, clip which is set to true and trim that mentions how much the image needs to be cropped from all four sides. Using fbox command, we added a border to an image and adjusted its thickness using the set length command. In the concluding session of the topic, we learnt to work with figure environment and looked at how we can include multiple images under one figure using the subfigure environment. We have covered a lot of concepts of LaTeX using which we can create a decent document, article or report. Thank you. Have a nice day.